unveiling their latest GPUs that can power the AI PCs. They also shared the stage with many of the PC makers, inviting the likes of Asus, Acer, HP, Lenovo to take to the stage with them as well as they introduced the whole suite of products featuring artificial intelligence. I got a chance to speak to Asus's co-CEO, S.Y. Shu, yesterday, and I was talking to him about this take-up, what the expected take-up of artificial intelligence PCs when it hits the market. This is what he had to say. The uh, first year of the AI PC, and uh, only in the second half, we can ship the so-called uh, Copilot Plus PC. So we foresee the uh, total time for this year will only around 35 to uh, 40 million of the uh, piece, pieces is the so-called the Copilot Plus PC. But for the next few years, we foresee maybe in the 26, we'll have over 60% of the total shipment is belong to the so-called AI PC. Now we know that AI PCs cost more than a regular PCs. And now just on average, a regular PC would be about 700 US dollars and the AI PCs north of 1100 US dollars. Do you expect with the adoption of AI PC that prices can come down? Uh, of course, uh, I think in the beginning, uh, the AI PC will be focused on the high end segment. Uh, so uh, they have uh, some uh, price gap in compared to the mainstream product. But uh, I think uh, uh, a lot of uh, suppliers are trying very hard to push the price down to go to the mainstream. So I think maybe in the next two, three years, the price will uh, go down to the mainstream price. We're watching the developments, the election developments in India. And this is a market for you where you have 20% of market share. Talk to us a little bit about the growth that you're seeing there and with the Make in India policy, how is that helping you to grow there? Uh, actually, uh, we are doing quite good uh, in the Indian market. Uh, just as you mentioned, we have a good market share. And of course, uh, we need to follow the regulation from the government. So actually, we also find some uh, uh, supplier in India. So uh, some model, we already uh, production in India. So uh, we will depend on the regulation and follow the regulation to uh, have the healthy growth in our India market. Asus this week has launched a suite of PCs uh, with the AI chips in, in, embedded inside. And together with that, they have an AI strategy, ubiquitous AI, incredible possibilities. Now, of course, uh, the big keynote speech yesterday coming through from the likes of Intel and uh, Pat Gelsinger saying that every device is going to have AI, every company will turn to AI, and Intel is positioned to service this AI continuum. Uh, this comes as the AI PC uh, serviced by Intel will be using the Lunar Lake, which will be made available in the third quarter of this year at 48 tops NPU. And uh, Pat Gelsinger is forecasting that by 2028, Dan, 80% of PCs will be artificial intelligence. That's the latest here from Computex. Back to you now.